Shalom, Shalom, from an ancient city called Beersheba. It's located in the biblical Negev, south of the Judean hill country, where Jerusalem is. Let's see the city of Beersheba together. This region of the biblical Negev is a very dry and arid region of the Bible. It only receives six to eight inches of rain each year. Beersheba is mentioned in the context of the patriarchs, beginning with Abraham and Isaac, and later on Jacob. We read in chapter 21 of Genesis about Abraham making a treaty or a covenant with Abimelech here at the city of Beersheba. Although this well does not date to the time of Abraham, the well was used as a place of making a treaty. Beersheba actually means the well of seven or the well of the oath. It was here that Abraham made a covenant with Abimelech. This particular well has an extended trough. As the shepherd would have drawn water from the well, this water would have been placed in this trough so that his flocks could drink of the water. It reminds us of Psalm 23, how God serves as our good shepherd. And his cup continues to overflow to us, quenching our thirst as we come to him and claim his goodness and his grace. We enter the city of Beersheba through this gate complex. You can still see some of the original stones that date to the time of Solomon, a pavement, if you will, that would have led into an interior gate. This would have been a six chamber gate. We see these types of gates at other cities all around Israel. This is the area where archaeologists found a four-horned altar. There was a cultic worship center here at Beersheba that was used by Judeans. However, kings like Hezekiah and Josiah brought an end to this false worship at places like Beersheba and nearby Arad. The city was laid out in a circular fashion. Some suggest that this allowed the residents of Beersheba to collect the rainwater when it would rain in this very dry and arid region of the Bible. They would be able to divert the water into their cisterns. four-room house or Israelite house. We can see the pillars that would have supported the second floor or the roof of this house. And we can also see the various rooms of this house used in the days of the Bible. The outer room was built adjacent to the city fortification wall.
storage houses were also discovered here by archaeologists, and these date to the time of Solomon. There was also a very complex cistern system here. These steps lead down to the cistern area where water was collected for the city.